Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tatiana, for those of you that are new, welcome. So today I wanted to go ahead and pick up the camera and start up a new vlog. So today is October 30th, the day before Halloween, and um, it is a Friday. It's absolutely beautiful outside. It's so pretty. Fall weather is finally like here. I think it's a high of like 64, 65 or something like that today and the sun's out, so it's so nice. Um, yeah, but my friend is about to come over. My friend Kayla, um, I'll introduce her to you guys. Actually, she's an ICU nurse. She's a travel nurse. So maybe I can, um, actually, maybe I'll do like a video with her one day where I like ask her some questions for you guys. Um, since she's like kind of been nursing a little longer than me. But, um, yeah, so she's going to come over. We're going to get something to eat, um, and like meet up with some of our other friends and probably, uh, I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to have, you know, a good weekend. But all I know is right now I need to clean up. I'm not even going to show you guys what it looks like right now because my mom would kill me. It looks like so bad. My plants are dying. I need to water my plants. I know I always say they're dying because they always are. But um, yeah, so I just want to come on here and start another vlog. Um, I work on Monday, so I'll probably take this into me working and do like a couple of work days with you guys since you guys like that. But um, yeah, so I wanted to just pick the camera up and start another vlog. So I'm starting to get back into the groove of things. But um, yeah, so... I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get this vlog started. I just wanted to show you guys how pretty it is out here. Look at my little um, balcony set that my T.I. got me. It's so cute. I'll probably come out here and sit a little bit later because y'all it is so pretty outside. Like the weather is absolutely perfect and it's so beautiful. I can't wait to get out here and spend some time outside today. But yeah. Alright time to clean up and get my day started. Hey y'all, um, so it's actually the next day. I think the last time I talked to you, I was about to do my dishes. So I actually ended up doing my dishes. I was actually really surprised because I had postponed those for so long, as long as I could. But um, I finally ended up doing them. There's like a, look, a couple of more now since I'm um, like just getting home and I have like my stuff from work and everything. But um, yeah, so I, I did my dishes and I cleaned up. Um, and actually, I'm actually really happy with and now I feel so much better in a clean space, but I still need to do um, kind of like more of a deep clean, which I've done a couple of days, but I just got back from work. Um, today is Tuesday, so I worked Monday night and I work again tonight and I'm on call tomorrow night. But um, my assignment was easy. I just had like three premature babies, but they're not um, like sick or anything. We're just kind of like growing and feeding them. They're all um, 35 weeks and younger, so they're kind of just grower, grower feeders. So it was a really smooth assignment. Um, only thing about the assignment that I had was I'm in this room by myself, so it's hard to like go to the bathroom. But um, the assignment itself was actually really nice because they're all two feedings. Um, if you're a NICU nurse and you understand how um, like time consuming it can be when you have um, two or three PO feeders or um, babies that take bottles and then if especially if they're a slow feeder it can take um, a really long time sometimes so it's a blessing to have three two feeds because it helps you stay on track it's a lot faster um, but yeah so my assignment's really smooth I'm really happy with my assignment it's not bad at all so um, now I'm home I took a shower I'm in my comfy robe now um, it's freezing in my condo I love when it starts getting cold it's like 30 something degrees right now because I just open my patio doors and I just let it get cold um, because I love it freezing because I like I'd rather it be cold than hot I love to just like cuddle up in a blanket so um I'm about to make breakfast now um oh and I cooked yesterday that's a surprising thing too I did my dishes even though I cooked and y'all I'm so proud of myself because I haven't been cooking I've been ordering so much food so um I'm really trying to get back into cooking so I made lemon pepper chicken mashed potatoes and asparagus so I'll show you guys that later when I'm uh, making my food for tonight um because I try to make enough to like take to work with me so I don't have to worry about ordering food but now I'm about to make breakfast so I have some like sausage back there if you can see I'm gonna make some um biscuits and then also some eggs um and then i'm gonna try to eat that so i can get a good night's sleep or a good day's sleep so i can be nice and refreshed for tonight but just want to check in with you guys let you know how work went and um what's going on but yeah i'll try to remember my camera this time when i'm going to work i'm a horrible youtuber and vlogger i'm trying to get better so um yeah i just want to check in with you guys i will check in with you guys later all right y'all so i'm ready for work it's currently time for me to go it is 6:23, so I'm wearing my Grey's Anatomy scrubs today with my Janu underscrub shirt. Y'all, these Janu underscrub shirts are at my absolute favorite. I love these so much. They're so like thick and warm. They are a little expensive, but I feel like they're so worth it because I wear them so much more than my other uh, my other underscrub shirts. But um, yeah, that's what I'm wearing. I just want to show y'all like how dark it is outside now, and it's cold. <laughs> like when the weather starts getting like this, I don't want to go anywhere. But it's so pretty. 
but um yeah so like when i'm getting ready to leave now it's so dark outside now that time has changed and it just makes me want to like stay in and not go anywhere but yeah so and it's starting to get cold i love it but i want to be home during this type of weather <laughs> So just put up to work. It is 6.47. I actually made really good time because sometimes I literally pull up to work at 6.53. And 6.53 is when clocking in starts. It was a clock in before 7. So you have like 7 minutes to clock in. But So I actually made really good timing. Um, but I'm about to go ahead and get my shoes on. Put my little mask on. And head in. Jesus be some energy because I need it, child. Like I am tired. And especially with like the weather changing and it being dark when I leave it's just like it all makes me want to stay home so I really need some energy I have my coffee I need some sugar and I have to go to the store and get some cream right and have any I just put some oat milk in it so I'm gonna put some um, in my coffee when I get in there but um yeah so I just got to work I'm gonna go ahead and go in I will check in with you guys later let you guys know how it went but um, my assignment y'all is cake like I'm so thankful for this it's like I'm thankful for my busy days too but I'm so thankful to have the babies I have they're so sweet none of my all of my babies are two and three pounds um, they're all on two feet like it is chill so um, I really appreciate that assignment especially when I'm feeling tired which is most of the time I mean I appreciate busy assignments when I'm feeling tired too but um yeah so i'm gonna go in and go see my sweet little babies i will check in with you guys later here's our break room nothing special y'all i have to put all the sugar in my coffee it's so nasty and i need my coffee sweet so i already put a lot of cream in it but i don't care i need my sweet coffee to keep me up yeah i have to get ready to go to huddle and we also have a staff meeting i was supposed to call in this morning but fell asleep so i'm gonna try to call in while i'm kind of working um if that makes sense because i have no other option but yeah i'm gonna finish making my coffee and go to huddle hey y'all so i wanted to show you what a rooming in room looks like we don't use these anymore because of covid but what we used to do for parents that have premature babies when they're getting ready to take their baby home they would stay in this room with their baby and basically do all of their care they would change their diaper they would feed and we would just come in and do like an, an assessment in the beginning and then we would just check on them throughout the night so the parents would basically be able to take care of their child and see how it would be at home but have the nurses there just in case anything happened or they needed help so that um they're not just jumping into taking a premature baby well by the time they go home the baby's ready but just so that they feel comfortable with doing all the care but as you can see it has a bed it has a bathroom and a shower and um the baby it, it would usually wouldn't have that giraffe in there um that was just stored in there but usually they would just have like little baby's crib in there but um yeah so now we use this to eat and to kind of take our breaks in since we're not using it for co since covid but i just wanted to show you what it looked like hey y'all so today's wednesday um i just got up i worked last night so i worked monday night and tuesday night um so i was really tired when i got home so i'm just not getting up it is hold on let me see what time it is so it is 5 14 right now um i'm on call tonight but the charge nurse already called me and told me that they wouldn't need me which is awesome because i'm tired and plus um I, this is my weekend to work so i'm working four in a row this weekend i'm working saturday sunday monday tuesday and i'd rather have three days off in between than two so i can get like more rest two just isn't enough um a lot of the times because you just don't feel like refreshed and renewed um after just two days so i'm happy that they well they don't need me so far to 11 but i'm the second person on call so if they need somebody they'll call somebody else first and then me so i don't think they'll need me tonight which is nice so now i'm going to I have a couple more dishes that I need to do. I think I'm just going to throw them in the dishwasher and um, clean up a little bit. And I'll probably take a bath tonight since I know I don't have to work tomorrow, which is really, really nice. So, um, yeah. And also, um, I got some clothes from Princess Polly. I think I'm going to show you guys. I might show you if it's still bright outside. 
um by the time i finish like cleaning up i'll probably show you guys today but if not then i'll show you tomorrow but um yeah i'm so excited to be home and not have to work um because i'm just tired a god time thought i don't mind working on call because it makes your checks a lot nicer because you get time and a half but um i mean i feel like it's a win-win either way you either get more rest or you get more money and this time i get more rest which i am perfectly fine with um oh let me show you on my phone so i did like the ios 14 customization thing i'll show y'all um like a better view but i um i love it i uh actually wasn't that hard i should have filmed a video on it but of course i didn't um but yeah let me show y'all what it looks like okay so this is my home screen and once you get past the home screen so i have like all of my custom um little icons like mail clock google maps um and then i added like these widgets and i added these pictures i love this because it's like a 2000s vibe so um I just love like the nails and jewelry and lip gloss and grills and stuff. I don't know why. I just love it. So that's the same picture as my home screen. Um, and then there's Tupac with the rose. I love Tupac. Um, but yeah, so just like my custom icons and I have the same thing down here. Like my phone, Instagram messages and Snapchat. Then I have like YouTube, Spotify, and then like just more grills, more jewelry. Um, yeah, so I think this is, I think this is so cool. Again, Tupac, I love him. He's so fine. And this says it's a beautiful day to be black. I love this picture. I think it's dope. And then this one, I have Baps. Baps is one of my all-time favorite movies. I love Baps so much. I could watch it over and over. Um, so I have a picture of them. And then I have, I think this picture is so dope. Angela Bassett burning the car in Waiting to Exhale. I love this picture. So um, I put that on there. It just reminds me to be fierce. And then I, uh, on the last page, I just have pictures. I just think these are really cool, like with the jewelry. And I don't know, I just really like this picture. And then the nails and jewelry. And then I have like a calendar to show me like the day and everything. But that's it. I love it. I love this customization. I love that Apple um, allowed us to finally like, customize our home screen. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys this. I love it. I wish I would have filmed it for you guys. But if you know how to do it, then this can be just like an idea for yours if you would like. All right, y'all, so I'm about to go ahead and straighten up and relax and take a bath since I'm kind of off tonight. So, yeah, check in with you guys later. I went ahead and did my dishes I threw most of them in the dishwasher and I washed a few but those are going now so that I'm now that I'm finished with that it's about 9 45 now they told me that they probably won't need me um well at least I'm I'm free until 11 but I don't think they'll need me but I'm still gonna wait till I go draw my bath and everything until after I know for sure I'm not gonna go in so um but what I think I am going to go ahead and do is do some skincare so I'm in my bathroom now you know the mask sometimes kind of makes me break out um you like in the area where i wear the mask so i think i'm gonna go ahead and like wash my face and do a face mask and kind of make this a pamper night um yeah so it's important to take care of yourself when you're working especially um nursing is hard working 12 hour shifts and then of course like i said wearing the mask it can kind of like mess with my skin sometimes so i want to make sure i'm taking care of that so i'm going to go ahead and do some skincare like i said i'm not going to take my bath yet but i think i'm going to go ahead and choose out my bath bomb and bubble bar that i'm going to use because that's like one of my favorite parts as you know if you watch any of my other vlogs i love lush and i love their bath bombs and bubble bar so i think i'm going to go ahead and pick um one of those out and show it to you guys 
all right y'all so i think this is going to be my bath bomb tonight this one is called temple in the sky i believe from lush it's so pretty i can't wait to show you guys the bath art with this one because this one looks like it's going to be really pretty in the water um yellow is one of my favorite colors and i feel like blue water is always pretty too so i'm gonna use that and then for my bubble bar i love mixing a bubble bar and a bath bomb so i think this one's called bubble trouble or something like that i can't remember but you're supposed to it's a lightning bolt of course and you're supposed to charge it in the sun so i did that a couple days ago and it glows in the dark so i'm going to show you all that but this smells so good y'all i can't i don't even know how to describe this scent but i love this i can't wait to use this and um lush products like their bath bombs and bubble bars it makes like it's so moisturizing like it makes the water feel amazing and your skin feels silky soft when you're in it so i'm gonna show you guys oh oops um but yeah so your skin feels silky soft when you're in the water so i'm gonna show you guys how this looks um in the dark all right y'all so this is it glowing in the dark Hold on, let me make it a little darker all right y'all so this is what it looks like in the dark isn't it so cool and i think if i'm not mistaken i feel like it makes your water glow in the dark i'm gonna double check or i guess i can show you guys if it does or not but i feel like it's just so cool for, um in general like the fact that it glows in the dark all right y'all so i showed you the bath bomb i'm gonna be using temple in the sky and then also the bubble i'm gonna be using i showed you how it glows in the dark it's so cool but um yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get this self pamper night started That's it for my skincare. Um, what time is it now? It's 9.54, so I'm still waiting. Um, but I don't think I'm going to get caught in, like I said. But I'm not going to go ahead and take my bath yet. I probably will go ahead and... Um, well, once they once they don't call me and they don't need me, then I'll go ahead and um, take my bath. But yeah, so that's it for my skincare. I'm going to um, go watch some TV, probably. Um, yeah, so I'll just enjoy the rest of my night. And yeah, relax, take a bath, and I'll catch up with you guys later. One hour later. Hey y'all, so I'm back. So y'all, I was so upset last night. So I ended up getting called into work, but they're supposed to call you by nine. They didn't call me until 10.45, 15 minutes before I was technically supposed to be there on call to ask me to come in. Y'all, I was so mad. I don't even know why I picked up, but I did and I ended up going and it was fine. Like the assignment was okay, but I was just so tired and I just wasn't expecting to be there. Like I said, on call is kind of a win-win situation. Either you get more rest or you get more pay. So I guess I just, I, I'll get more pay, but. So I didn't get to take my bath. I didn't get to do a lot of things I wanted to do today because I kind of just woke up because I was tired from yesterday. So um, I think it's, I think it's around like four o'clock right now. So I'm gonna go get my feet done. And then I have like some errands to run and um, yeah, so I'm just going to go to the nail salon now. I um, think I'm going to show y'all if it's still light outside. If not, then tomorrow I'm going to show y'all the stuff that I got from Princess Polly. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to check back in with you guys. So I did end up working last night. Um, 
yeah, I wasn't the happiest, but we made it, we survived, and we're off tonight and tomorrow night, and then I have to work four in a row. That's the main reason why I wanted it to be off, because I have to work four in a row this weekend, and it'll be, it would have been nice to have, like, the extra rest, but I'll, I'll survive. It'll be okay. But, um, yeah, so just wanted to check in with you guys, give you guys a little update, so I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> So today is Friday, my last off day before I start my four in a row. Um, so I actually slept a lot yesterday, I was really tired, so I didn't really do much. So today I'm gonna um, head out, run some errands, I'm gonna meet up with a friend, we're gonna have some lunch. Um, we're going to this place called Milk and Honey, it's really, really good if you live um, in the Atlanta area or in Georgia. But yeah, so um, I might try to vlog some today, I'm definitely gonna show y'all my Princess Polly stuff, whether it's light outside or not, because it's taking me way too long to do it. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go head out with my friends. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing and then I'm gonna head out. So check in with you guys later All right, y'all. So this is what I'm wearing today This um, long sleeve turtleneck crop top is from J Lux label um, With my New York Yankees hat. This is from Urban Outfitters, I believe and then I got my stacked pants from Amazon I love these. Um, I was gonna show these to y'all with like my try on haul these are so cute. I um, wanted to get them to wear with like my ones and my sneakers and they look awesome. Um, and then I just have my off-white, white Jordan ones on today. Yeah, so those are my shoes. I want to show you guys my outfit. So I'm going to head out and check in with you guys later. All right, y'all. So this is the first little um, set that I'm going to show y'all. So this skirt I'm absolutely in love with. Um, it's kind of like a tennis skirt. I think it is so cute. So this is... Um, a size 12 i believe and i think i could have gone smaller because it is big around my waist i definitely could have got a 10 or an 8 but on sites like princess polly um a lot of the models are like really skinny and a lot of times i feel like i have to order up so um sometimes the 12s actually fit and sometimes they're too big so it's really hard to um guess with the sizing but i have some biker shorts under this now and it helps it fit a little better so that's probably just what i have to do when i wear this skirt but i love this this top i got from shein actually and i love it it's like a collared um ugh. It's like a collared um, like crop top shirt and it's so cute, I love it. And then I wouldn't necessarily wear this jacket with this outfit, but I kind of wanted to pair things together to show you guys. But um, I got this like cropped nude, I got this cropped nude um, puffer jacket. And um, I tried, I wanted to, I wish it was like a little more oversized, but of course like I'm not that small, so it's hard for me to get a lot of like oversized clothes. But um, this is, I think, I want to say this came in like small, medium, large, or if not, I probably got this in a size 12 too, but um, this is really cute and I think it'll be really nice for the fall, so first couple of things that I got. So here's some more of the um, things I got from Princess Polly. I got this little like crop top, like um, wife beater and it's um, kind of like scrunched up on the side, so I really like this, it's cute. It is a little see-through, so you'll have to wear um, pasties or... A good bra underneath um, I got this black skirt this skirt is a little short but it does fit I got this skirt in a size 12 and I got this shirt probably in a size 8 I think but um, the skirt is a little short but I got I wanted a black skirt to wear in the winter anyway with tights so I'll definitely be wearing tights under this but I still think it's really cute um, and then I got this oversized leather jacket and I've been wanting an oversized leather jacket so I was really excited about this I think it's probably I think it's sold out on Princess Polly now but um, I think an oversized leather jacket is really cute in the winter time. So um, I'm glad I was able to pick this up. But I'll put a link down below just in case um, you guys still are able to pick this up. But yeah. And I have one more jacket to show you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to that. All right, y'all. So this is the last jacket that I got. It's this black puffer jacket. And I love this. It's so comfy and warm. Um, and I think I got this in like the largest size too. Whether that was a large or a size 12. Um, but yeah, so it's really, really cute. It's just a normal black puffer jacket and it'll be perfect for the fall and winter time. So that's it for everything that I got from Princess Polly. So now I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I got from the Sephora sale. Um, as you know, the sale just ended, but Sephora doesn't have too many sales. So, um, at the end of the year, and I think like this in the spring, um, for VIB, Rouge, and Beauty Insiders, you get a certain percent percentage off. So you get either 10, 15, or 20% off. So I'm Rouge because I spent way too much money there. So I got 20% off. So I decided to take advantage because they don't have that many sales, like I said. So I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that I got. So um, one of the first thing I got, things that I got is this You To The People 
um, the Power of Three cleanser set. So um, I was really excited about this because I love skincare and um, this um, cleanser has been sold out for a really long time. And um, I'm not sure if it's still sold out. I think it is. But um, this set was like one of the only ways that you can get it. And it's actually a really good deal because then you get to try out the um, moisturizer and the mask. And I was really excited about the mask. I ended up getting that in the full size um, during the sale. So um, like I said, it comes with a cleanser. And I was really excited to try this cleanser. I really like it. Um, it comes in a glass container. And you can like buy the refillable um, cleansers just to like pour in and keep using it. It comes, uh, it comes with the pump inside. And it's like capped off um, so it doesn't spill. But really like this cleanser i was really excited about this set and then it came with the superberry hydrate and glow dream mask and then the deep moisturizer cream um and i really like both of these the moisturizing cream is really um hydrating i thought about getting this but it's just a little too expensive so i didn't get it i'd rather have um invest in the mask which is what i did because i've heard some really good things about the mask so i was really excited about that um so yes i i did end up getting a full size of the mask too i don't have it here with me but um I, I can like put it on the screen or something, but I got a full size of this. And then the next thing I got, I tried to really get a lot of the sets. Well, not a lot, but I'm trying to invest in the sets because they're already a good deal even without the sale and the percentage off. So when you add the percentage off on top, it's an even better deal. So another one that I got is the um, Sol de Janeiro like bum bum, creams, bum bum Cream Set. And if you've never smelled this scent, you're missing out because it smells so good. Um, so in this set, it's actually a really good deal. Like um, again, because you get a full size bum bum cream, and then it comes with a mini of the um, shower gel, a full size. I think it's a full size of the lip balm and a full size of the mist. So I have it here. Um, this is the full size cream. They had a jumbo one, but um, it's off the site now, so I guess that was only like a limited time thing. But yeah, this cream smells so good. This is my first time. I've had like little samples. This is my first time having a full size, so I'm really excited about it. And apparently, it lasts all day, so I'm really really excited. And then it came with the shower gel, which would be nice for travel, and it smells really good, so I can't wait to use this. Um, uh, like, body mist, which is also nice, and then I just tried this, the um, Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter, and this is really nice, too. It's really moisturizing. It's not too heavy, and it's not sticky or anything like that, so it's really nice. Let's see, I also got this um, Laneige Cleanser. I've heard really good things about this. This is the Cream Skin Milk Oil Cleanser, and I've been really into skincare um, for a while now, so I was really excited to pick up um, some new like skincare things. So um, I'll let you guys know how this is when I try it, but I've seen a lot of um, YouTubers talk about it, and the reviews are good on Sephora. And I also got, I don't have it here with me either, but I also got a new lip mask. I got the um, Choco Mint one, or Mint Choco one, which I'm really excited about too, because I love anything that's mint scented or flavored. So um, I already have the sweet candy and the green apple, I think it is, it's called um, green apple one and I love them. Sweet candy is my favorite right now so I'm really excited for the mint one because I love anything that's kind of like tingly and mint scented or flavored. And then I got, um, I actually got this, this was on sale so it, um, again like I got the, um, the, the rouge discount on top of this already being on sale so this is the bum bum soul oil spf 30 i think this will be really nice for the summer because um it's an oil so it'll make you like shimmer and look really nice in the summer but um also gives you protection at the same time and it smells really good oh it's actually right here oh it has like glitter in it too so yeah so this will be really really pretty for the summertime there's something floating in it what's that inside it's supposed to be oh it's a little surfboard <laughs> i was so confused i don't know if you can see it's like there's like a little surfboard floating inside that just threw me off for a second but it's really cool so um then i got some concealers um these are the last things that i got i got a mini of the nars radiant creamy concealer because again i've heard amazing things about this i got it in the shade caramel to kind of spot conceal with and then under my eyes because i usually um like for every day i don't like to use like a highlighting shade i like to use something close to my skin tone so um i'm really excited to try this because people have been talking about this forever so i got a mini one just to try it out before investing in the full size and then i also got another Too Faced Born This Way concealer. The one that I have is in the shade Butterscotch and I use that for spot concealing, like I said, for like every day. But this one I got in the shade Latte to try to um, highlight under my eyes when I wanna wear kind of like more makeup. Um, I don't, I have to see if the shade is a little too light or if the undertone isn't right for me. Um, we'll see, I'm gonna try it out and let you guys know, but um, this concealer is really nice so I'm excited to have like a highlighting shade in that one. And actually I um, forgot I bought this too. 
So this is um, actually a very affordable mask. I wanted to get more masks to try out. So this is the Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mask with Super Volcanic Clusters. And this is supposed to help with, um, like, like it says, clearing your pores and like blackheads and things like that. So I'm really excited to try this. I love like Korean um, skincare and like Japanese skincare and stuff like that. So this will be really um, interesting and nice to try. So I'll let you guys know how like all those products, but yeah so that's everything that i got from the sephora sale i um at the sephora sale is unfortunately over now but i was really excited to get some stuff um let me know down below if you guys got some stuff and like what you recommend skincare and makeup wise but yeah so that's it for that all right guys so that's the end of this vlog i hope that you guys enjoyed it um i feel like this vlog is really long so i don't want to add too much but now i'm off for a week because i had that um well it's supposed to be four night stretch but like i said i got um low census on the fourth night so it was really a three night stretch so now i have like seven or eight days off so yes y'all you heard that right seven or eight days so um yeah, I think I might start another vlog just showing you guys what I do in my life when I'm not working, um, when I'm not like a Nikki nurse. But um, yeah, so I didn't want to make this vlog too long, even though I already feel like it's long. But if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for being here. I love every single one of you guys and I appreciate your support so, so much. Thank you for being a part of this family. And like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.